Hey y'all. Alright. And some of you have had positive responses to my women self-defense. Well, I know somebody said so how to do elbows. Well, alright. Everything that I have tried to teach or whatever, I have gone through myself, so the only instance that I know of effectively using an elbow is, okay, when you're in that kind of situation, you don't just use your eyes. You have to listen and you have to feel where a person is. So the only instance that I've ever had to use an elbow was when somebody was coming up behind me on a side and I just, you know, it's the only instance I ever had to use an elbow. Now, since I grew up kind of ghetto fab, like, ain't nobody no Krav Maga or karate or any of that shit. So, doing fucking leg kicks and all that shit is kind of worthless. Unless you're actually, you know, trained in that kind of shit. Okay, but your best bet is to kick out the kneecap, wait till they fall down, grab their head, knee them in the face. Or while they're falling down, you know. Elbow them in the face, but it's much more effective to just wait till they fall and knee them in the face. But um, another thing you can do is if somebody is throwing a punch at you, they're kind of slow. You can catch it. If you can catch their wrist, twist it in. So that their arm is like this. So while you have their wrist, you take your other arm, push down on their shoulder, and pull with your other hand, and you can pull their whole arm out of the socket. That will definitely stop them. Done that. Um, okay, signature moves that I had. I have a very hard head. So headbutting. A must in your arsenal. People don't expect headbutts. People think headbutts hurt and they hurt for the other person, yes, but when you're doing it, no. Just headbutt that bitch. Because, I mean, even when I was an infant, I was, <laughs> I was a, a non conforming, uh uh, you ain't telling me what to do. You know, my mom or my grandma would pick me up to go and I'd be like, Bam! headbutt them right in the face. <laughs> So, like, I got a hard head. Even in infancy, I was, like, headbutting bitches. So, yeah. Headbutts work. <laughs> Always aim right here. Middle of the eyes, top of the bridge. Their nose will gush. Definitely stop somebody. Another signature move that... It kind of depends on the size of the person. Being a little person, it's kind of hard to do with somebody that's, you know, that tall. But um, if you can get them in a headlock, they're down there. Put your body under them, lift them up, twist over, flip them down, and if you want or not, get on top of them and or whatever but if you can get them down or get out get out whatever you want to do and other <laughs> signature move that's kind of a spider monkey see growing up with having you know very large man always trying to kill me I had to take that aggression out some way and I kind of became the anti-bully bully so I fought all the bullies in the school and if 
they thought just because they were bigger than me that they could intimidate me or scare me. I would just spider monkey jump on their ass and just start wailing. So, element of surprise. <laughs> that works. So, if your body feels threatened, because that's just how I work. If my body feels threatened, I just instinctively react. So, I just jump on a bitch and just do whatever. But, um, somebody commented that, um, he, he, he was a male and um, he had a woman come from behind and grab his junk and just squeeze. That's very good. But most likely you will not have a male attacker put his back to you for you to be able to do that. But if you can, hell fucking yeah. Grab and squeeze and try to pull that shit off. Or if... You know, you're being sexually assaulted. I know some men, you know, women have been in situations where they're forced to do fellatio. I don't give a fuck if there's a gun in my head. I am chomping. You get these incisors? They're sharp for a reason. They're for cutting meat. So, those would be damaged. And if you're anywhere near somebody's face, they got a nose, they got ears, they got cheeks, they got shit you could chomp the fuck on. And they're going to try to get the fuck away because they're be like, this bitch is trying to eat me. Hell yeah, bitch. <laughs> like, I'll take a chunk out your ass. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, so, <laughs> not the best advice, but, you know. Most of the time when you're in a situation, you see in movies and t TV that fights are extremely choreographed. And in real life, like, it's fucking chaos. Like, you don't know what is going to happen. So you have to be prepared for anything to happen. So if you have the opening, chomp on a bitch. It'll bug. And, I mean, just use what opening you have to do whatever you can. You got nails, use them. You got a, a you know, space to grip, grip. Or if, you know, if you're somehow down on the ground and they're standing above you, use them teeth, bitch. <laughs> like, chomp on that shit. Because, I'm sorry, men's junk is very sensitive, so whatever damage you can do to that area, do it. As for fighting women, it's not what I'm really trying to teach, because that's just a bitch fight, and it's whatever. You know, I basically want to teach how to defend against a man, but... I've already kind of exhausted all the moves I had because, you know, with my brother, it was the moves I've already showed or stabbing the motherfucker. That's all I had because he was so much bigger. I had no fucking chance except for <laughs> whatever I could do. And... If I come up with anything extra, I'll let you know, but those are a little, you know, extra moves. Do not forget to implement a headbutt. That shit hurts, but it doesn't hurt you when you're doing it because you know you're doing it. But maybe it's just because I have a hard head, but who knows? Like, <laughs> use a headbutt, use your teeth, use your nails. Elbows, it's, it's iffy because you got to be in a certain position and you really don't know what's going to happen. Like, real life ain't choreographed. Like, it could go any way. You just have to be prepared for anything and just have it in the back of your mind of 
okay, what's the best way to, you know, protect myself this way? Because I had a dream, I'm going to sit down for this, where I was on my stomach and a guy had a meat cleaver on my spine. He's like, I'm going to sever your spine. And it wasn't a nightmare. I don't really view dreams as nightmares that are bad. It just had me thinking for weeks, how the fuck would I defend myself if I was stuck on my stomach? And I could not come up with an answer unless, like, I had a knife in, in my hand and I could, you know, just jab at whatever. Like, there's really no way to defend when you're stuck on your stomach because even, like, in wrestling or, you know, jujitsu, they have to tap out when they're stuck on their stomach because there's really no way to get out when you're on your stomach. So if anybody knows, avoid, like, because I'm going to have to do research because, you know, I did take a jujitsu a very long time ago, but I was, like, so sore for two weeks. I was like, fuck this shit. Like, I couldn't move for two weeks. Like, I was so sore. But I really should learn that kind of shit. Really, you gotta climb everything. Fucking kittens. <laughs> you are gonna fall and scratch my shit up. Anyways. Like, being a fucking traumatized person, that's just how I always think. How do I defend from a certain position? How do I protect myself? You are gonna knock that shit over. It's your fault if you fall. Can you hear that? Mm hmm. Yeah. You're gonna break my shit. There you go. Just landed. But, uh, it's just innate in me, um, just thinking of how to prepare for things. And I know not everybody's like that because they haven't experienced trauma, but, you know, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. So I like to be prepared. I like to think and plan and strategize how I would maneuver things. I don't want to promote violence, but people need to be prepared because when shit hits the fan, the first that will be attacked are the women and children. Women will be raped, children, old, you know, elderly people. So it's like, women, you really need to... I'm so fucking out of shape. I could not do my spider monkey shit if it's, you know, I need to get in shape. <laughs> but at least in my mind, when you have that adrenaline, ugh, adrenaline rush, you can fucking do shit you never imagined you could do. So just know that. If you, even if you think you can't do it, like, when you got that adrenaline running through you, you can do unimaginable things, so just trust that. But, uh, I don't know. I don't want to just fucking talk about how I used to fight bullies and shit. I was just trying to, you know, tell people how to defend against an attacker, but those are a few extra moves. Could work on anybody, but it's, you know, whatever. Love y'all.